Nadal Wonder recently got into a serious accident and his life might never be the same. If you guys didn't know, Nadal Wonder, a famous YouTuber who posts on the channel Juju and Nadal, got hit while he was riding a scooter and suffered some big in even Salish Matter reacts at the end of this, and you guys have to see it, but I've compiled everything I could find, and you guys can't miss how this ends. Starting off, I found a clip of Nadal's brother, Juju, who finds Nadal on the ground after the accident, and this must be gut-wrenching to see as his brother. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I gotta go, bro. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, so this video is from Juju and Nadal's channel, and he documents a lot of what happened. But just imagine finding your brother with cops and ambulances all around. I'd be freaking out. Can you hear me, bud? What's your name? What's your name? So they show the broken scooter here as well as the car and man. The way the car looks, that seems to be a big hit. That's, that's how, that's he how, ran the light? Huh? He ran the light? I don't know, you know, because I had the, I, my light was red. Mm -hmm. And so, and, uh, so obviously she came from that area. I heard this noise and what I heard it. Holy sh at this point, Nadal is admitted to the hospital, and a lot of people were saying he was in a coma and has to get life-changing surgery. I'm praying for Nadal's fast recovery. This is what his brother has to say. Got a single for the first time. First accident. Let's see how he's doing. That was a very emotional time spent with Nadal, but check back tomorrow and see some progress. Of course, everyone is worried about Nadal, and I am too, because brain trauma is no joke. I think today is the day he has surgery on his leg because he's done with like taking out his lungs. Or he might have to see it. This next part, Nadal wakes up, thankfully, and is shocked to hear that it's been four days since his accident, and you guys have to see what Salish Matter has to say at the end. You're hitting yourself in the car? You just remember going to sleep and waking up here? Do you remember anything here in the hospital? You just remember right now? Do you remember riding your scooter and then getting hit by a car? Yeah. How long ago was it? Four days ago. Yeah, four days, you know. Yeah, you got hit four days ago. Still in the hospital. Yeah, it was pretty bad, you know. You broke your head, you broke your collarbone, you broke your leg. You don't move too much, you don't move too much. You remember going in the ambulance? No, we're just lying to me. No, we're not. You're falling asleep? The family is so thankful that he's alive, and everyone else is too. Honestly, him just being okay and talking to everyone is such good news, as this could have easily ended way worse for him. Oh, that's good. How you doing? <laughs> you know we all thought you were a dead needle for like three days. Four days, actually. Still feel bad. You just woke up yesterday. You got pretty beat up. Look at your, even your collarbone's blue, like it's a different color. Your shoulder, your I eye. Try. I can't lay on this side. You can't lay on it? They didn't do surgery right here. Yeah, I know, they didn't do surgery. Look at your leg. Look at this leg, Needle, it's broken. It's strong. Needle's gonna come back and be stronger than ever. No, no, you're chilling. Look at you. You remember everything. You guys start hitting the gym because you're losing a lot of weight. Yeah. Look at that, you lost so much weight being in here. I was bulking and I stopped working out. <laughs> and then you got hit. You're cutting, you're just cutting right now. Alright, Needle. Wow. 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 I'll see you later. Wow. Take care. I'm glad you're feeling better. 
We love you. Of course, since he's such a big YouTuber, the news actually covered this, and when Nadal was able to be in a wheelchair, they interviewed him about the experience, and you guys have to see what he says about it. Well, new at 11, a Clovis teen and YouTube star is now at home and recovering after getting hit by a car while riding an electric scooter. Nidal Wonder has 2.2 million followers on YouTube where he shares funny videos with his brother, but for the past week, he has been fighting for his life. I'm very lucky to be in a wheelchair and not in the hospital right now. One week after getting hit by a car riding his electric scooter, Needall Wonder is home from the hospital and surrounded by his family. They like put me to sleep for like five days. I was in a coma for five days basically. He even says that his coma was actually five days, which is just insane. The 13-year-old YouTube star has over 2 million followers and his videos regularly get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. He films anything from pranks to challenges with his friends. You gotta see. You gotta see. No, you're seeking. But on March 5th, his mom, Adrika Ajib, says she got the call no mother wants to get. Her other son called her and let her know Nidal had been hit by a car. Really what I started to do was just pray and he was already loaded in the ambulance. The mother even talks about what it was like and I'm sure as a parent she was just freaking out and praying everything was going to be okay. But even Salish Matter says her reaction and it's just heartbreaking. And they were about to take him away so I was just kind of there trying to piece together what just happened. After a full week in the hospital fighting for his life, the full scope of his are now clear but she put her faith in God. I really just let it all go in God's hands and I said, he's yours. I hope that you let us keep him, but he's yours. I guess everyone's prayers got through as somehow he's talking and still with us. Needall says he doesn't remember what happened before or during the crash. However, he's staying positive and excited to get back to making YouTube videos when he can. Like God definitely helped in the situation. Like without him, I, I probably would still be in the hospital. But here, Sally shares her reaction to this, and fans were waiting to see what she has to say. As you all know, Nadal had an accident on his scooter and still recovering in the ICU. On her Instagram, she made a post saying, Dear Nadal, I hope you feel better. I miss you so much, and I can't wait to see you again sometime soon. I hope you have a really fast recovery, and thank you so much for being the best friend ever, and I hope you stay optimistic, even though it will be challenging. Along with a bunch of photos of them together, she was probably super emotional seeing Nadal get hurt, and maybe even having thoughts Nadal might never be the same, as serious can lead to terrible outcomes like memory loss, other behavioral symptoms that could be permanent, or even a coma he could have never woken up from. All in all, even though Nadal did get hospitalized, I'm sure family and fans were all glad to see Nadal is recovering very fast and not suffering from any other serious symptoms of You guys have to see Juju and Nadal's channel to see all the updates and drop a like for Nadal being so brave here and praying for his quick recovery so he can go back to his normal life again.